to let's play the turning the fan even though it's extraordinarily warm even though it is almost half past 11 p.m. anyway welcome back to let's play Final Fantasy 10 so I've been putting this on hold because I just can't be asked with this bloody constant heat wave and didn't I battle Darker Jimbo in the early hours of the morning as well. I mean, it's technically the night rather than the early hours of the morning now, but still, seeing a pattern here. <laughs> so, what we gotta do to summon Dark Anima, who will fight also, might as well. Show stats. I don't know how much I've really done that's any difference. Just. I literally could have recorded this part earlier today. But I was so bored and tired, I ended up going back to sleep. When I woke up at like 9, I was like, ah, had food, uploaded, uh, Wind Waker parts on all that, and uh, that was it. Then I just, like, I was playing through the area, looking for this area, did a little bit of level grinding. I did battle the Earth Eater a few times. That's pretty much when I got bored and what? Oh, oh, I see. I see why this is happening here. And we're ambushed as well? Fuck off. Fuck you, I'm busy. Because I've got Lulu is the one who's got the no encounters on. But since this is technically underwater, he's Dick Woods will still, you know, attack and stuff. I've got a job to do and it doesn't involve kicking your ass, although it technically does now because you got in my way. Assholes. And we got our level, why not? Not that it's really gonna have any use. God damn it! Ambushed again! Ambushed by weak ass piranhas, for God's sake. Get out of my face! These are some annoying little shits. Oh, there they come up here up in my face and shit. Just passing through the waters to get to the thing that summons Dark Anima and they're just like, no, we must get in your way. So I remember this thing, well apparently like, even like the second you complete this task you can do it again, which will summon Dark Anima. Of course, this is a lot, long time since we first came through here. Yeah. But essentially, we gotta do this stupid little challenge again. And now, that was pretty damn easy. Wait, what? 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 Who invited these guys? I wanna know who is responsible for these guys showing up. Did, did I miss and that's why they were summoned? What was that shit? I guess I must have missed. And again, I missed. I need. Trying to summon Dark Aeon, could you please leave me be? There we go. I like how it just goes kind of silent, it's like you done fucked up now, Walker. Oh shit.
Honestly, Dark Anima doesn't even look all that different, really, does it? Because Dark, like, regular Anima is already pretty dark looking. Red alert, red alert, Dark Aeon in the vicinity. That's, uh... Wait, what? You're on land, but it still only has you free. I guess it's because the Alicat just can't swim across. So since it's an area you can only exercise by swimming, they're the only ones here. But I have to do this, yes, so that we can pass without having to deal with bullshit. Also, I still haven't fully vanquished uh, Dark Yojimbo because he's dropped quite a nice, some nice stuff here, as you can see. Insta break HP limits. No ribbon on these ones, but still. Some nice stuff. Where else? I think, uh, did you, did he, yeah. Drop one for you. Only the one, though. What Titus did he get? Yeah, there you go. Drop some good shit, you know. Anyways, we'll meet you at the save spot. Alrighty. So Anima was summoned at the entrance. Let's go go say hi. And then die. <laughs> Cause I fully expect to lose this battle. I don't think that I'd somehow luck out of defeating the first time. Like Dark Anima doesn't even oh. oh. No, it's not doesn't lead straight out what it does, but not on the same screen. Huh? We have to go through here? But you know, Dark Anima is not as strong as Dark Palmet, but it has the most HP. It has HP rivaling Nemesis, who we haven't defeated yet, so I'm quite intimidated by that. But its strength stat is closer to, uh, what was it? Uh, the Earth Feeder than it is the Dark Palmet, so it's not strong physically, but magically powerful and has some really awful attacks if you're unprepared. Which I know I will be. So where are you, Dark Anima? Wait, it was someone at the entrance, right? And I'm taking a long route. Shit, I forgot. We was someone at the very entrance. Uh, I'll meet you at the teleporter thing. Teleporter thing, take me to the entrance. God damn, it's so bloody warm. It's funny to say this when, oh, look at that chain. Animus here, what, I wonder if everyone else is, yeah, everyone else is still just chilling. Oh, uh, what's his face, uh, Mei Chen's gone, no, he's like, I, I ain't dealing with this. Ronzo aren't scared, though. Runs always prepared to fight, always keep weapons and armor in top shape. Don't care about the thing over there. Pfft. It's like you could summon Dark Anima and just completely ignore the bastards. So he didn't have a summoner, much like. Well, none of the Dark Aeons, really. This is the only one I think that doesn't have a summoner, he's just kind of there. Your chains are scaring everyone off, Anima. I was gonna say something, what was it? Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. I find it funny that I'm just like complaining about how hot it is while playing this game and we're essentially on a freaking snowy mountain. Nice camera angle they got there, Dark Anime. It really goes to show just how ginormous you are. And how little fucks you give. You're just like, I will only battle you if you approach me. And it just has the default music. What the hell? <laughs> Why was his her face frozen on the screen temporarily there? What was up with that? No, Dark Anima, you have the default music. You must feel kind of downgraded. You know, being a super boss and having to deal with that kind of shit, you know? I think even the Magisters get the same treatments. 
Like, oh, you, this is an epic fight. Let's put the normal music on. I mean, what the hell, game? You don't counterattack, right? Good. Dark Anima, I think, might not be as fast as Isler, I'm not sure. So it's got a shit ton of HP and some of its attacks are quite deadly. But I've never fought you before. How could you miss this has an evasion of one, for God's sake? It's not like freaking Dark Bahamut or Dark Yojimbo where attacks would miss often, you know. How can you miss? How's that even happen? Ow! Oh. It must be the luck stat then, I imagine. Because that's the only reason I could see how this would make any sense. Ooh! to death. Didn't even power up Riku or anything. What a shitty situation. So like um er uh um that. Have you got aim? Not pleasant. Oh, I can see why. Hey, you guys are kind of fucked. Like super duper ultra fucked. Like, I, 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 there's like no hope for you guys. You're fucked. Like super duperly ultra fucked. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, a normal attack is not nearly as strong, but it inflicts a curse. Oh, not good. Bring out the sisters! Who will be very slow to appear. They like to take their time when being summoned. No, I'm pretty sure there's actually an option to turn off the animation, which I'm not I'm too sure I can't really. Takes up a lot of time though, doesn't it? It is so bloody warm, man. The amount of sweat, man, is just insane. It's like I remember like it's like, think, te <coughs> Texas is a place known for extreme heat, right? I remember, like, checking the uh, temperature in Texas one day, I was like, and then checking the temperature here. I knew it wasn't really all that far off. I was like, bloody hell. Ridiculous. I've been nothing but freaking heat for quite a few weeks now. It's just... Just horrible. I prefer rain over heat waves, you know. Oh. <sighs> 
doing any recording at all because of the heat is just ridiculous to me. So you think by night time it will cool down, but it doesn't cool down quite as much half the time, you know? It's ridiculous. And I can't have the fan facing me because of the microphone. So I'm literally just holding my left arm out to cool down with the fan. It's like, ah. But it doesn't reach anything, so like, my head is sweating and sweating onto the headphones. It's not pleasant. Here we go to oblivion. Just like, oh, the Aeons will go to oblivion, but you know, you are spared. You didn't have a ticket to oblivion, so you do not pass. You didn't have a passport. Now an intimidating sight. Oh shit! They're already dead. He stole their MP. Well, she stole their MP. Didn't stand a chance. Maybe with shield, but I don't think they can actually use shields. Where's Barrow's going swimming? This is clearly a battle where you need ribbon because seriously. It's like Walker's got ribbon, but Oren and Riku, I don't think, have. Yeah, neither of them have ribbon, so. That's why they got so screwed over when they got hit by that attack. Goes to show, man, you gotta be ultra super duper or completely 100% prepared for this shit. Or you're going to die very badly. And Walker's not been able to get overdriving and not anything this whole time. Walker only minds slightly decay. So what we're gonna need is, uh, we need to get rid of that shit so that we can use overdrive whenever he gets one. Oh wait, we gotta use the holy water then. Gee, I forgot about that stuff, yes, 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 of course. What were you doing with the jaw there, anyways? Well, Riku, you're a bit looking a bit fucked there, aren't you? You're a zombie! can't do anything in his current state at all. He's kind of fucked. And he refuses to die, at the very least. Still got a turn left. I'm surprised he's still alive at all, to be perfectly honest. Oh yeah, he's got that afflicted as well, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Actually, can I use... He 
He's a zombie! Well, that's kind of accurate when you think about it. I mean, he is technically sort of undead. Sort of. He's an unsent after all. It's time for an overdrive. Yeah! I'm just gonna do as much. I fully expect to lose this battle. Because you are you're being fucked again. How many times must you get fucked? Or Oren lived for a number of turns, eh, didn't they? Yeah, holy water. Shame you do not have a ribbon. Shame you're kind of dead, so you kind of made that entirely pointless. At least Oren can do his auto phoenix stuff now that he has gained control over his very being whatever. Let's keep everyone alive a bit here, shall we? Fuck you ah shit. No, enough Luna Curtain, just do Star Curtain combination this time. You're a zombie. Again. Ooh, surprise, certainly not me. Fuck you. Fuck miss. Fuck you. Alright, Orin gets a another turn, so I might as well take that chance to recover from that fear. Switcheroo, bring out Yuna. Let's see if we can get our anima to endure. The Battle of the Animals. Our chains look brand new compared to Dark Animals one. The Ultimate Showdown. Our one looks more up to date while yours looks ancient. Kind of think of it, it makes no sense, does it? It's like Anima is essentially an Aeon made from Seymour's mother sacrificing herself to give Seymour a powerful Aeon. So, how is there a dark version of it? Come to think of it, look at it. These chains aren't even chained up the same way as our Anima. What's up with that? You were cl you were like that before the battle, but now it's like no, all just chained around anima, but not around the background. Will you take our anima to oblivion, or will you seal your fate to go to oblivion yourself? You 
You know, Dark Animal is essentially a zombie, isn't it? Although we probably can't kill it by healing it. Because it doesn't seem to work half the time in this game. Stole all our MP. Seal does a lot to defend though, doesn't it? Yeah, I admit. Oh, and it was enough to survive. But you're gonna get extra turn, so it doesn't even matter. Sheep tactics! Bullshit! Our animal would have totally kicked your animal's ass. Well, I say that like this anima has a summoner, but it doesn't. It's just kind of there. Kind of just there to be a dick. Fuck you. Fuck you. And oh yes. Fuck you. And one more time. Fuck you. And once again. Fuck you. And once again. Fuck. Ah, uh, miss. Can you hear my uh, watch there? It always does that midnight. My watch is a few minutes. Uh, ahead of the actual time. So, while it's say my watch says it's midnight, and it's still four minutes away. Wait, wasn't there a Stephen King, like, collection of short stories? Four minutes or something? Or was it five minutes to midnight or something like that? I remember reading that. It was the one that had the Langoliers in there that has a film adaption that is hilariously bad with the CGI and the acting and uh, scaring the little girl I gotta be a boss in a bloody blah so what can we do about this situation I say nothing because it will just get killed anyway quick hits missed Wait, Oren got a turn, but he didn't get a turn. What's up with that? Wonka's the only one who can do anything here. And he's not doing a very good job at it. You, madam. Seriously. Ow. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Shit just got real. You get an overdrive too consistently, lady. Yeah. They don't get any turns. All they can do is wait to die. It's no wonder why you have freaking balls and miss in there, Walker. You're not even aiming straight. You're like throwing a curveball at a big target and somehow missing. It makes no sense to me. But I know that my chances of hitting this bitch are pretty much non-existent. But actually surviving a hit from this bitch. Because even if you do survive the initial overdrive, Anima tends to get an extra turn. So, instead, it will Sonic Wings its ass. Oblivion takes a while to get to, you know? It counts. Okay, well, 32 minutes it was... Count from there. Wait, 
Wait, no. What? What just happened there? What? Was I not paying attention or was that overdrive shorter than usual? I was kind of looking back and forth and wasn't paying much attention. That felt kind of brief. For some reason. You know what? Fuck it. Since they're gonna take a million years to die, might as well, you know, sooner their asses so they can at least do something. Seriously, what is stopping them from doing anything? Sleep, silence, oh, that's what it is. I forgot. They're asleep, that's why they're not doing it. And then he goes and uses that attack immediately after. Making all that completely pointless as usual. Why do I even bother? It makes it so that their countdown to death doesn't even happen because they can't get a turn to, you know, count the timer down to die. Have you got it sooner? I don't think you do. Nope. What kind of throws are these, Walker? Seriously. What are you doing, Walker? It's it's an easy target. Why does your ball have to go all floaty balls on us? Would you stop mega gravitation stuff on us? Because it kind of hurts. And usually it leads to what happened to Orin there, but it takes about a decade and a half to get to, you know? Persona, please. Well, then you can use your uh, overdrive. Um... Even though you will immediately die afterwards. Well, not immediately, but soon. Yay! There's only had two overdrives in this whole battle. This is ridiculous. To change his overdrive type. A lot of death. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. You're running low on that. Ah, oh, missed. I say switch Riku out for Titus. 
Titus has the ribbon, but he's not very strong, so this might be a bad idea. Foot missed. Why am I not surprised? Why do I even bother? You guys can't hear anything. Except that. Battle is dragging on. I know we're not gonna lose. Because we haven't done nearly as much damage to it as it has done to us. And it has a shit ton of HP. Literally twice the amount that Dark Bahamut had. Which is quite a lot. At least with Dark Bahamut, we actually got more attacks in than this shit. Well, maybe not, because Dark Bahamut had even better evasion. Yeah, it skips the whole animation. What the fuck? Didn't even do maximum damage, all of that. It's like Dark Animal is like, ah, I'll give you a break. I see that this battle is dragging on a long time, so I'm going to shorten my animation for no apparent reason other than the reason I just stated, which isn't really an actual reason that's established in game or anything. Thank you for the MP. Now Riku's gonna die, she's gonna die. No matter what we do, she's gonna die. We might as well. Sacrifices must be made. Actually, you don't even have all the life on, so you might as well do that to yourself. And then she dies and is revived. Oh fuck it. Banish you to the Shadow Realm. If I can get the combination right. There we go. The power of booze compels you, Dark Anima. It compels you to go to the Shadow Realm. Fuck you! Ow! Fuck you! How do we even know if Dark Anima is even dying yet? Dark Anima looks like like it's just chilling in the cold here and doesn't give a fuck what we do. how painful it is to attack a dark aeon sir. It means you die. Cure him! Fuck you! 
Okay. Use a remedy. What? Oh, you gotta use holy water at the gods. Or could I get some simple things? Why are you aiming at... Well, it doesn't have a penis. It's female, so not a thing. Oh, how I loathe that attack. So very much. It is such an annoying move. I do not like it. And he does it inst- It's just like... Why do I even- Oh, shit. Why do I even bother, you know? Why do I even bother? Why try when you can only die? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, freaking guy. We, we can salvage this. Somehow. What we gotta do is... I don't know. We're gonna need... The same old shit. The same old shit. It is a painfully, tediously long battle, but you cannot win. Drags on for several days and then you die. Oh, you're here on the field there, Yuna. Could you so kindly uh, auto life for me? Briefly exit stage left. Aha! It's not good enough. Just bring in some more auto life. And retreat the Yuna so I can summon Aeon. But first, I will stop recording. Merely record after, because we have 45 minutes and that's just ridiculous. So, a moment. <laughs> 